It was a glorious moment, an unforgettable experience in Bauchi State, Nigeria, as the chairman and founder of the African Children Talent Discovery Foundation, Engineer Noah Dalaji, stormed the state with many world celebrated soccer star, artists, and Nollywood veterans to participate in this year's talent hunt and mentorship program for the youth in the state. In what can be described as a presidential welcome, thousands of Bauchi indigenous came out in their numbers to welcome Engineer Noah Dalaji and his entourage at the Tafawa Belewa International Airport. Engineer Noah, while addressing journalists on his arrival at the airport, spoke on his vision to the state and what he aims to achieve. You are expecting to, to watch the mentorship program that brought us to this town, and that's why we're here. So we have landed. And by the grace of God, there's going to be a mentorship to see how we can incorporate the young people so that they can be useful to themselves. So that's what you're going to be expecting. And you can see the all people that are here, all the stars that have come from different countries to support the young people. So I believe uh, there is hope for, for Nigeria. Not just from the airport, the team proceeded to Tafawa Belewa Stadium to inspect the preparedness of the match to be played the next day. It will be a lot of fun tomorrow, but Bring not just the down. fun, the most important thing is the mentorship. You see, the, the young people in this country has a lot of hope, yeah. and they have a lot of talent, so they are waiting to have a platform, a ladder that they can climb, so by the grace of God that ladder has come. So we are all here to support their talent and see how we can support them to be useful to themselves. Before the arrival of engineer Noah Dalaji and his entourage to the state, some of the young players to be sponsored and mentored were seen at the stadium preparing themselves against the match to be played. We are some of them will be selected to be enrolled in special academy outside Nigeria. <laughs> Nineteen ninety seven Golden Eagle player Hashim Gaba, who is the coordinator of the talent hunt program in the state, appealed to the chairman to sustain the program as it will help in getting the boys out of the street. I'm the state coordinator of this program. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's, this boy you are seeing is being organized by Chairman Dalaji uh, in order to stimulate the boys from the state to get to a certain level in this special sport which is football. That is the reason why we have mobilized these boys to come and uh, train and play a special match and he has promised to pick three to four players in order to get them to special academies and this program is not only men here it's something that covers not only nigeria but africa as a whole and i want the program to be sustained my advice is because they are promising players and i'm appealing to the chairman for all that he has been doing to the state, not only to the state, but to northern Nigeria as a whole. Because he, has, he is able to mobilize not only Nigerian players, but including African players to come and do this thing. So I want him to kindly sustain this youth so that we'll have a future at 15, under 15, 17, and eventually up to Super Eagles. Some of the players who spoke at the training ground thanked the organizers for the opportunity, believing that it will boost their morale in pursuing their career in football. I'm here from Bauchi. The reason of being here, the organized uh, scouting, which are ex super Yugos players are coming to select some good players for the grassroots football achievement. So that's why I'm here. It's a big opportunity that you can show yourself the talent. That's why they call it African Talent Discovery Foundation. They organize, they organize it because they should find grassroots footballers so that they can advance in their career. My name is Ephraim Jerry Timothy and I'm 16 years old. It's a great opportunity for me and a chance for me to display my talent so that I will be discovered too among the young talented players in Bauchi to keep a legacy. Kalilu, Fadiga, Daniel Makachi, Taribo West and other players who graze the event took time to mentor and train the young players who they believe have more to give to the society. Like he did say, my name is Daniel the Black Bull Amakache. I earned the nickname the Black Bull because I started from where you started from, okay? Uh, and before we go into that, you can see on this side of the picture, uh, we have uh, some sexy legends with me. Uh, and uh, the far left in my hand is Emmanuel Emenike. This is Lamana Lua Lua. And then we have uh, Garba Lawal. And we have uh, 
the legend, presently the, the Players uh, Association president, uh, Tijani Babengida, Emmanuel Babayaro, <laughs> Mr. Terry West, this is Stephen Apia, you know, John Gaddy. My name is Harvey Fadiga, former football player from the national team of Senegal in 2002. Everything is about, uh, about discipline, but I am agree and at the same time I am a little bit, uh, uh, let's say that uh, when you say about football, uh, it's not only football, you have to have a discipline in all your life, on the pitch, out of the pitch. What I mean by that is the way that you behave outside of the field, if you are a football, uh, football player, uh, for, uh, football, a professional football player, outside the way that you behave outside of the pitch, when you're going to end your career, is the people going to remember that. Not only the way that you play football. But if on the pitch you are a football, amazing football player and out of the pitch you are someone who don't have any humility, you are arrogant, people are going to do everything to take the revenge when you finish your career. We are not opportune like you people. But in your own time, some way, somehow, there was a specific person that was channeled to you to bring about these global stars to your present. It's a better place to put your hands together and give up and give up. Ask me, what makes a street footballer to become a star? Ask me that question. Yeah. Number one, adaptation. If you can see Fadiga, Babangida, Ima, myself, and the rest of the cream of stars that you see, it's a sign that every one of you here tomorrow can also become a global star. You are one of the luckiest. Yes, sir in this our Nigeria, because we have millions and millions of children who don't have this opportunity that you guys have. What you are seeing today, it become complete in your dream, because you have a dream, and I'm going to explain to you all the dreams you have as football player, because every football player has a dream. True. First dream, you want to be at your national team level, to be playing, right? Yes, you have seen national team here. Bernard Fadiga, he helped also on education. Not necessarily you must be at the university level, but that you must understand and know how to read right. and write. At least when you're reading, even though your contract you want to sign, you must be able to read it and understand it before you sign it. You understand? And I'll tell you one, 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 one thing a friend of mine, Olumide Oyedeji, used to say. He said, talent makes you a star. But education makes you super. So education plus talent makes you what? Super star. No father will want his child to be like him. The father will want the child to be better than him. So that I'm sure they want you to be better than them also. So they can be proud tomorrow of you. Am I right? Yes, sir. But that cannot happen except you have discipline and then you 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 have focus, you know, and then you have determination. The team later moved to the palace of the Emir of Bauchi, Dr. Rewanu Suleiman Adamu, where the royal father endorsed and commended Indiano Adalaji for using the talent hunt to nurture and develop talented players. I wish to commend the efforts of Indiana Adalaji for assembling and convincing his reputable and smooth superstars players who came from far and near to play this match for the to play players on the 27th June 2020. Now at the Avocat Mabana Stadium Bouchi. Among the superstars which the channel has already introduced them, uh, I understand and include Daniel Alakati, Kanye Woko, JJ Okocha, Samuel from Ghana, Alaji Diff, of Senegal, Sol from Kenya, and others include Patrick Fasa, Dabaji Bruno, Yakubu, and Kaliga Baila. Samuel, Samuel Adon, Sweeper Adon, Leone Adon, Yari, Balakwaki, and a lot of others who are present who cannot be mentioned due to lack of time. The match is going to be memorable and entertaining, and therefore I expect that the stadium will be full to the brain by spectators and all sport-level people of Bochi. 
It will provide a rare opportunity to have a glance of national and international all players who made our country proud at this period of time. The football pitch, so that he can be the father to this people, and also to watch this uh, novelty match. And for your own, uh, for to interest you, you know, the Israel Hardest used to play football. Yeah. Yeah. So, he's a lover of football, and I'll tell you a secret that like he told us last time. During his day, they used to call him the Boo. And then I <laughs> Members of the Supporters Club of Nigeria were seen entertaining the crowd that came in their numbers to receive Dalaji and his team. The first match played by the ACTTF Young Players, Bauchi State Chapter and other selected young players across the nation ended on a goalless. Later, the all-awaited novelty match between Superstars Friends of Dalaji and Bauchi All-Stars Football Club was played at a full capacity stadium as has never been seen in Bauchi State since the insecurity took to its rise in the northern part of Nigeria. Nano Adalaji reacted after his side defeated Bauchi All-Stars by two goals to nil. this opportunity that has come their way so that they can become the best. I want to see them better than these players that are here today. Peter Okoye, popularly known as Peace Square, entertained the crowd with some of his hit tracks. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
of the ACTDF Young Stars were handsomely rewarded for their outstanding performance. And I really thank God seriously and I thank the organizers of this program. May God Almighty bless them and protect them from all their enemies. Thank you, sir. I really, really so happy for my teammates that contributed me to, to where I am here, here now. I really, really thank you. Thank you very much for this, for this opportunity. So I, I promise I will, I will make all the best of me. So thank you very much. Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Mr. Sunday Dare who was represented by his senior staff, commended the foundation for encouraging the youth, promised to partner with the foundation to ensure success in its future programs. We really appreciate this uh, stop. And all the players have really put up a very good effort. And we are looking forward to them representing Nigeria in the very short, nearest future. I congratulate the winners and also congratulate the sponsor. Thank you very much. Everybody, um, it's been a wonderful day and um, we've seen some new boarding talents. And I uh, would like to congratulate um, the president and founder of the African Child Foundation and um, engineer Noah Dalaji. He's done awesome. He's done very, very well, pulling the entire crowd and the ex internationals. And um, everything he's doing is in consonance with his collaboration with the ministry. You recall that um, just three weeks ago, he adopted um, two Olympic bound athletes with a sum of $20,000 just, just to show his commitment to sports. And uh, we really are grateful to him at the ministry. Um, delights to be here because we all started like this. I served the go by Aaron. So um, I came in like three hours before kickoff. And if I wasn't part of this, I think I'll be doing serious disservice, you know, to, to these young ones. So coming here to support them today shouldn't be surprising. And when I heard about it, I think it was enthusiastic about it. So it's a big project that we all have to embrace. A big congratulations to the sponsors, of course, the grassroots people are here as well. And um, the colleagues that came out from there, these are the future stars for tomorrow. So we will encourage, you know, corporate bodies and individuals, where many Nigerians, to you know, uh, embrace stuff like this so that we can be able to come out with a stronger national team in the future. Well, I think I said, I call it mission accomplished. Number one, we have been working to, uh, to put this thing together, and by the grace of God, we did it. Now, I'm so happy for the young people that are here. I don't know, I don't know. If I were them, I think I have everything that I'm looking for. So we have given them the platform. I believe they are going to use opportunity to I mean, take advantage of this platform so that they can showcase their talent. Uh, the plan is to see how we can put them in an academy where they will, uh, they will be placed. Engineer Noah Dalaji, a philanthropist, also commissioned boreholes in a rural community in the state as part of its corporate social responsibility to ease the suffering of the people especially the poor Nigerian. Some of the villagers who could not hold their joy rained blessings on him and expressed their satisfaction. Engineer Noah Dalaji, we are really grateful, sir. Thank you so much. This is, Thank you, sir. This is, this is life. Yes. You gave us water, you gave us life. Yes. We really appreciate you, sir. May the Lord continue to increase you and take you from so one level Amen. to another Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much. This is the creek. 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 This wallahi mu ci mu sha mu kan rasa saboda ruwa amma yadda Allah ya sa har Allah ya kawo wannan lokaci injiniya ya ji kuka mu ba mun san mu ayi ya tura mishi wannan abun fa kai gaskiya na gode mishi Allah ya sa muna albarka a'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim minash shaitanir rajim muna godiya mu injiniya Nuhu Dallaji a matsayin sa na mutumin da yake taimako da dai gurgudo yayi bohula annan yankin jahar boci sun kai guda hansu kuma yayi wannan tankuna ba dan komai saboda a Najeriya ana shan wala a jahar Bauchi ya duba ya ga cewa nan yankin sa ne dan ya ga cewa me ya kamata ya shine ya ga cewa ya kamata mutane suna da wahalar ruwa yazo yayi wannan tankuna manya manya a difference 
sai saboda ya ga cewa ya cire mutane a cikin kunci na ruwa to wannan ruwa da ya kawo dama shine yayi iya dade gurgurin sa ya nemo wannan abun da aljihun sa danya taimaki mutane to yayi abun da a jahar bauchi ba za mu manta ba yayi abun da har ya mutu za a ringa masa addu'a don haka yayi guda 30 wannan zuwan sa wancan kaurin yayi guda hansun yayi guda 80 wannan injiniya mai yawa muna rokon Allah ya albarkace shi amin ya kuma sake bashi wannan matsayin gaba gaba domin muna fatarar ruwa a wannan angon sosai gashi yanzu muna murna sosai tun ba kaman mu mata ba idan ba ruwa ba wanke idan ba ruwa ba wanke wanke gida ba sabta angon kuma ba ci gaba ba mu iya dafa abinci amma yanzu muna murna sosai muna son mutane masu kishin zuciya irin wannan Allah ya sake bude masha hanya gaba gaba ya ci gaba fiye da abin da muka gani mun gode yanzu muna da murna mai yawa Allah ya saka mashi da alheri muna mun yi murna mun yi farin ciki musamman ga wannan bawon Allah injiniya Nuhu muna masa fatan alheri ubangiji ya sa duk abin da yake nima Allah ya bashi a saukake muna kuma godiya ta musamman domin wannan angon da kuka gani an wace wadda muke fataran ruwa ba kadan ba matan mu suna shan wahala ba kadan ba engineer no adala just said the project is not just limited to the north but we spread across the country the, to ease the suffering of these people once there is a call and uh, where there is need so definitely we always want to intervene so these are part of the intervention program that we had in lines of our vision statement and mission so i i received a call that they need water they are suffering going all of that so it's not just here we're doing around the country and by the grace of god we'll try to go to all the places that need water so we'll be able to ease their suffering nobody had believed about this state being cited in the northeast part of nigeria could hold such program with the rumors of insecurities in the land, which engineer Noadalaji said the narration needs to be changed.